Brian, good Lord, um, welcome. <clears throat> now they tell me that you've done a very foolish, a very stupid thing. Uh, you can't pull back, it's too late now. You said yes. You've agreed to be rector of Dundee University. Oh, you poor idiot. <laughs> Hi there, it's Fred McCauley here and I'm one of the former rectors of Dundee University. could never really quite believe that my name was on the same list as Peter Ustinov and Clement Freud and Stephen Fry of course. And now the great names include Brian Cox. I was really thrilled to be asked to just participate as, as being rector and I really enjoyed the whole experience. I had a fabulous, what was it, six years? I think it was six years um, at, at Dundee and uh, I made a lot of friends and I had a wonderful time. They were extraordinarily kind to me. I held little surgeries and um, met lots of extraordinary people, some of whom are still friends, students and, uh, and some of the staff too. At the end of the year we have graduation, which is one of my favourite times of the year. And last year was the first year that I presided over graduation as principal. And after 20 years I can tell you it brought a real lump to my throat. I remember when I was director I loved graduation, that was the highlight of the, of the whole year for me. It was such an emotional day and such a fantastic day and it really it seriously made, gave you hope for the future. And when you come to something like that and you see people who are trying their utmost, who are really pushing themselves, really challenging themselves, and the reward is there at the end of it. Uh, I found it very moving actually. I just get quite teary about it. And it's so good to see people, you know, going off into the world, hopefully, you know, making their mark on the world, but always remembering their experience at Dundee University, always having that experience in their hearts, really. And I love Dundee. Um, and any chance I get, you know, I, I always um, sing its praises. You can't come to a city like Dundee and not be just blown away. I couldn't understand why anybody would say to me, why do you want to go to Dundee? If you came here, you, you know why you want to come to Dundee. And I do think that the university has got so much to do with that. It's got so much to do with the whole renaissance of Dundee. The reason why I've stayed here 20 years, why I wanted to be the principal of this great university um, to continue with the, the, the great tradition that it has of being a university and a city uh, that work together for the good uh, of the city, for the good of Scotland. And certainly when you've got someone of the calibre of Brian as your rector, you know, a global figure who is so well loved by everybody, um, I think that takes you into a different league. And he really does in a very sort of quiet, understated way. He's an amazing ambassador for this city. Well, he really has a, a huge love for this place. And he always says that it sort of made him the person that he is. The university is really, really lucky to have him. Brian has had a, a long-standing uh, relationship with the university. He's always been helping us with many projects. One of the main projects that he's been involved with is the uh, fundraising for for diabetes research. He though is so modest that he would say that he gets more out of it than, than the university will. And that's what makes him so so popular and, and so admirable, is that sort of modesty. You know, there's no nonsense with, with Brian. You, you know, you're not going to have to get him a Winnebago and pick out all the blue M&Ms. It's not going to happen. 
<laughs> he's far too down to earth, he's far too Dundonian. I think the thing about Brian that is unique is the approachability. You know, I don't think that there's another kind of A-list Hollywood star that you would actually feel that you could sit and actually tell him your problems and he would first of all listen to you and second of all be really interested, <laughs> which he would. You are there representing students, that really is part of the job. Battling for them when you need to be and um, being their voice when you need to be. You've no idea the amount of work it involves, you've no idea the amount of impertinent calls upon your time, you've no idea the fun. And if I had one piece of advice it would be just to remember it's all about the students, it's uh, them that you're representing on the court. It was a great time, I enjoyed it and I'm sure you will too. All the very best. Hello gorgeous, I can't tell you how thrilled I am that you are Rector of the University and I know you're going to be absolutely brilliant and you'll love every single minute of it. So good luck and enjoy and it's brilliant to have you on board. You join Clement Freud and Peter Ustinov and, and round the corner me and Tony Slattery and other less worthy figures but you will be, well, you are the summation of all that Dundee has led up to. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time and congratulations. The university, the city, and the great students we have um, are really dear to my heart, and I know they're dear to your heart, and I wish you the very best of luck in your time as rector. Good luck, Ryan! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your new rector, Brian Cox. Brian Cox.